What's up, divas and divos? It's your girl, April, and I'm pretty sure you guys already knew that. So, I'm pretty sure that you guys have heard of that magical bra. You know, the Instagram bra. I have seen it all over the gram, um, and I have seen it on YouTube as well. Was I interested in it? I was somewhat interested in it, but I wasn't like really going to go crazy over it because I really didn't think it would work like that for me, especially because I'm older, so I don't have like really perky boobs. They don't sit up. They're not, you know what I mean? They're not new boobs. So I would just kind of think like this product would only work for certain boob status. So Fleek Boutique. Fleek Boutique um, asked me to review what I like to try out the Magical Bra. So I was like, all right, I'm game for it, you know. I ain't got to pay for it, so I'm going to try this out. Now, let me tell you, they sent me two sizes, too, and it was nicely wrapped, okay? Each bra comes inside one of these silver bags, so your bra will come in a box like this inside of a very concealed bag, so in case you don't want nobody to know what you're about to put on them tits, then it's concealed, okay? Send me a size C and a size D. I got two black ones. This is the C cup. This is the first one that I tried on. I did put the plastic back on it because it's really sticky. To me, it's more or less kind of like a gooey sticky. And this is the D cups. There are a little bit difference in sizes, not by much. I think like for the D, it's a little bit longer on the sides. But as far as the actual cup size itself, it's not really that much bigger. Um, it's more or less has to do with the sides right here. So this is the D. And the D fit pretty decent on me. So there is a trick to wearing these. Um, the first one that I tried on was the C. And it was not to my liking. I'm like, listen, my boobs don't sit up. They're not new. So I don't really know or understand how this is going to work for me. Had to watch a couple of videos on YouTube to figure this out. Okay? First of all, I suggest to always make sure to put the plastic back on it because, like I said, it's like a gooey stickiness. So, let me tell y'all. When this thing starts peeling off your areola, child, it's a very sticky, gooey situation. So, for me, it kind of was like pulling on the skin. But the trick to putting this on is you, you basically need to pull your boobs up and over and it kind of like sit this underneath it a little bit and then start to pull as tight as you can with this string right here. In the video, I'm going to show you how I did it. I actually wore a bathing suit for this video. Um, it's because I was already doing a try on. And the bathing suit that I had on came with these little cups, look like menstrual cups okay and they're very hard shaped and they really don't give your boobs any form and they slide all over the place so i decided to take them out and i wore the bathing suit without any type of support in the video then i decided to try this on and it looks a whole lot better so there is trickery it's witchery it's magical there is a way to wear this but in my honest opinion I don't think like everybody can wear these if your boobs are heavy or bigger or saggier I don't really think this is going to help I will say this this is great for a bathing suit as I stated in the video other than that I really don't find myself wearing this um, anywhere too often because um, I did notice I had to try on about five more bathing suits afterwards and it kind of being that that's hot it kind of was unpeeling to, like unrolling was coming off but it does work so my suggestion you would have to make sure that you kind of like stay dry a lot of people would suggest putting deodorant underneath your boob area just to hold it in place so that way you don't get sweaty because the gooeyness will make you sweat so that's the number one thing to it but i really don't in my honest opinion feel like everybody can wear these but this is like a really good bathing suit hat so if you have a bathing suit, you know bathing suits don't really offer a lot of support. This thing is magical for it. And you will see me wearing this in the video. But as for an all the time thing, I don't think I would wear this all the time because it just kind of hurts when it comes off or if it starts unpeeling it kind of the gooey the glueiness to it kind of hurts but these are really great for like i believe like summertime wear it all depends on what you have to wear this with but in my opinion i would definitely put on like some nipple covers for this so that way it doesn't pull at your areola skin but you can definitely check this invisible bra out magical bra on fleek boutique and just stay tuned for the video i'm not showing any boobage or flashing you guys but i just wanted you to see how the magical free bra 
works okay all right guys so as i was saying and this is the magical bra and as you can see i do have on my bathing suit and i don't really have any cleavage the bathing suit came with um two of these little type of cups they're really kind of like weird shaped so cone shaped no one's boobs are shaped like this and for my boob size they weren't fitting so i removed them so the first one that i tried on the other day was um a size c which was kind of small but i wasn't doing it the correct way so they sent me two sizes this is the d size which i feel will give me like a little bit better you know support okay, so this is how it looks without me pulling it I want to make it really tight. So this thing is really sticky. Oh, okay. Look. That looks better, right? So, and as you can see, it did give me some cleavage and it kind of made them look a little bit better than what they did. But there's a trick to really, really putting this on. Oh my God, like you really have to be really super careful. Um, for me, it kind of like hurt my boobs a little bit just from the stickiness. But you do need to kind of like pull your boobs up and over and then put this on so that way it's 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 able to get underneath and kind of like lift it so as I was saying about this you really do need to lift your boobs up and pull them over so that way this can fit properly um I'm not really sure about the size difference like the first one that I tried on was a C and it was kind of small but I don't think I was doing it the proper way um, because now it just fits a little bit more tighter and my boobs are definitely sitting up. This makes a huge difference in my bathing suit. This makes me feel a lot more secure. So me personally, what would I wear this with? I would probably wear it with my bathing suits because a lot of bathing suits, they don't have support and the support that they do have is not really enough. And I ain't never looked like this in none of my damn bathing suits. So I will give it to them for this. This is great for your bathing so suits. I'm just saying, this is good for like summer weather. Now, are they gonna stick on all day? I don't really know if I need them on all day. Like I said, I would just wear this with my bathing suit. So hope you guys only. enjoyed my show and tell of the bra and i hope you got concept of how to use it and saw the difference that it makes in the bathing suits this is like the best bathing suit bra there is like seriously bathing suit bra material but make sure that you put the plastic back on the area so that way it does continue to stick um i'm not really sure how many usages you can get out of these but depending on how you would wear it definitely work for you